Hi, this is Kelly Coyle Crivelli, and this uh, from the Penguin Random House Library Marketing Department, and this is my three in three. Um, I've decided to pick from the wide catalog of books that we have and talk about three books that all have the theme of love. Uh, the first book is called Pop Song. Pop Song is a book about love and about falling in love with a place or a painting or a person. Um, and it's about the joy and the terror that are inherent in the experience of love. Um, it's, it plums the well of culture for clues and patterns about love and loss um, from Agnes Martin's abstract paintings to James Terrell's transcendent light works um, to many other things. And um, Pham writes of her youthful attempts to find meaning in her travel, uh, drugs and art before sensing that she might need to turn her gaze upon herself. Pop Song is also a book about distances near and far as she travels from Taos, New Mexico to Shanghai, China, to, uh, China and beyond. Pham um, meditates on the miles we are willing to cover to get away from ourselves or those who hurt us and the impossible gaps that can exist between two people sharing a bed. It's a book about all the routes by which we might escape our own needs before finally finding a way home. Um, it's a beautiful book and the different essays are just so wonderful. Um, so that is my first book about love. The second book about love is one that will make you cry a lot more. Uh, it's the, the, the um, final book in the trilogy of The Art of Hearing Heartbeats uh, by um, Jan Philip Senger. And if you've read the, Heart the Art of Hearing Heartbeats or A Well-Tempered well Heart, then you will be very happy with um, the beautiful conclusion of this story in The Heart Remembers. 12-year-old Bobo, uh, Kobobo, lives with his uncle Yuba in Kalau, a town in Burma. And this is a beautiful Burma story. And, and the, the, back, the um, scenery is just as much a part of the story as the characters. And he's an unusually perceptive child and Bobo can read people's emotions in their eyes. This acute sensitivity only makes his unconven uh, unconventional home life more difficult. His father comes to visit him only once a year and he can hardly remember his mother who for unclear reasons keeps herself away from her son. Everything changes when Bobo discovers the story of his parents' great love, which threatens to break down um, and he convinces them that he can heal her and reunite their family. So Bobo decides to set out in search of his parents, bringing together this beautiful story at the, um, with a wonderful conclusion. And I highly recommend it um, for anybody who is a fan of this series. Um, and if you're not, it's a great time for you to jump into it. Um, and the last book is a, is a story about love that happens within a family. And you know, within a family, love also is coupled with forgiveness. And this is from Willow Literary Award-winning author, Jamie Riston. And it's a novel for fans of Jamie Attenberg and Elizabeth Strout about a, formal model, a former model whose undisciplined granddaughter turns um, her demanding controlled life upside down, forcing her to confront what she values. Amelia McQueen has lost her favorite son, Gavin, to a suspicious drowning for which her daughter-in-law has been convicted. Now their daughter, Heaven, um, is placed in, in care with Amelia. Um, and her name is Heaven and that name makes Amelia cringe and it also makes her feel old. So she asks Heaven to call her Gramelia instead of Grandma. The daughter, um, she is the daughter, Heaven is the daughter of drag addicts so she's not used to a lot of roles. So immediately the grandmother, Amelia and Heaven do not get along um, and Heaven, decides to bond with Uncle Daniel instead. Um, and he is the uncle who stays in his room alone all the time. And in when they spend time together, he tells Heaven all these tales, all these Celtic tales um, that this, the family has told forever. But the way she decides to interpret these tales actually gets Heaven in a lot of trouble. And as much as Amelia loved Gavin, Heaven is the last thing Amelia would have asked for. Um, but one night, Amelia, um, one night Heaven goes missing uh, during a dangerous storm, and Amelia is forced to re-examine her outlook on family, uh, making this a multi-generational tale of redemption and love, exploring the bonds that make or break a family. And those are my three and three books about love. Thank you.